Hello and welcome to whathifi.com. My name's Andy Kerr and this is a Bentley Continental GT. The car is here because it's equipped with the very latest version of the name for Bentley premium audio system, an audiophile in-car hi-fi system. So we're going to take it for a test to see how good it is. Now obviously this isn't the kind of thing you'd normally expect to find in whathifi.com, but there's a point to this particular exercise. What we've got here is a Bentley equipped with the name for Bentley car audio system. It uses the very latest BMR technology, balanced mode radiator. It allows for Bentley's designers to place the car speakers in absolutely the optimal positions to deliver the best sound quality. Of course, there are more than just BMR drive units in this car. There are nine loudspeakers in total. It uses a pair of very substantial 21 centimeter subwoofer units at the back of the car to give you that bass kick that you'd expect to find. What we've also got is an awful lot of power. This car has 1,100 watts of output. Now, 1,100 watts sounds very impressive, but it's necessary to deliver the appropriate dynamic range. Now the front end of this system is actually quite low key. That's because this isn't a name developed front end. This is actually something that's a fairly off the shelf part. Nothing wrong with that, of course. It also has to do with all the satellite navigation functions, uh, all the phone controls and all the other things that you would expect to find in a car interface. However, there is one specific thing that's distinct to the name for Bentley Car Audio System and it's this button down here. That's the name audio file mode. Basically, that's been designed and tweaked by names engineers to bypass everything else and to automatically preset the car to what it considers to be the optimum sound presentation. One of the clever things that Name's done is work with Bentley to develop a new processing system for this audio system, which uses a technology called Dirac Dimension. Now, what Dirac Dimension does is it takes the traditional physical position of the loudspeaker and then it attempts to try and acoustically move those so that the loudspeaker, as far as your ears perceive it, is further away from you. That has a tremendous advantage, of course, typically, particularly if you turn the system up, it can sound a little bit like you're being shouted at because the loudspeakers are fairly close to your ears. That's the way it works inside cars. Dirac Dimensions gets past all of that. It creates a more spacious and enveloping sound, which works particularly well with classical music, particularly with big dynamics. But it has advantages, it seems, across everything that we've listened to. Never mind all the technology, how does it actually sound? Now, I was fortunate enough to meet Julian Vereker, who's the, the founder of Name, sadly no longer with us. And he always talked very much about music in passionate terms. He didn't get involved in talking about those audiophile, tweaky elements of dynamic this and clear that. He just talked about how much he loved music. And I think he'd be very proud of how this system sounds, because that's exactly what it does. It actually makes your favorite tunes sound as musical as you expect them to be, which is a tremendous achievement. Bear in mind, we are sitting inside a car. There's all the scale you'd expect to find. It goes as loud as you ever could want it to go, as you'd expect with a system with 1,100 watts on board. But much more than that, you can pick up instrumental strands really well, you can follow tunes really, really easily. Voices sound natural, they sound clear, they sound immediate. It sounds like you're listening to the performer performing to you in your own private Bentley auditorium, which is, of course, the point of the exercise. Just as well, because it costs 5,260 pounds, it's a very substantial sum of money, of course. Put it in context. First, a good name hi-fi system at home is roughly that kind of money. Second, we are talking about a car that, as standard, costs more or less £136,000. Now, obviously, this is an expensive system. You would a right to expect it to be good, but it's more than just good. It's great. It represents a real achievement for both Bentley and for Name Audio. This isn't just a car stereo system, this is a serious mobile hi-fi. And for that reason, it has to get the full five stars.